Hey everybody, Christopher Mink for Everything Eye Cafe, and we are in my messy basement, and I'm showing you uh, a little bit behind the scenes to the roomy remote, which we'll get into a little bit later when we're upstairs, and I can show you how smooth things are, but wanted to show you how the setup happens behind the scenes to make this all work. So just to give you an idea of what is being controlled, uh, we have a Mac Mini that is used uh, running Plex for my HTPC, home theater PC. And if we scroll down here, uh, this is a Vera Lite, which is for home automation. Uh, this controls locks, uh, controls different light switches. This is a TiVo Romeo. And then if we scrolled up to the right here, I have a Sonos. And then down here is an Ankyo receiver an Apple TV, a Roku, and this is a mono price HDMI switcher. Now, all these devices get controlled through the Rumi remote. Some of them are IR based, so we need the IR to IP adapter here. And as you can see here, I'm going to try and get some light, get in on the back. One of these actually connects through an Ethernet cable. So this one actually goes through Ethernet up to the TV to the IR port. The other two connect to a blaster, which let's see if I can show you. Oh, trust me, it is hanging right there. So this connects, and this actually works the Apple TV, the Roku, and the Ankyo. Now, the blaster can do several devices. The emitter, I have one IR emitter hooked up just to do my switcher, so it's right to the port there, a little bit direct, so I use those as just as like a specific device. So if you're having problems with the device, this one is right next, as you can see, it's right next to the IR port on the switcher. So that handles that connection. Now we're going to go upstairs and just give you a little bit of a, a look at how this all comes together with the Rumi remote. Okay, so we went through some of the setup downstairs in the basement and you saw all those components, all those wires, and what's nice here is there is not a single wire um, exposed to the TV. On the mantle you can see my old Harmony remote and here we have Rumi. So uh, let me show you a little bit of uh, Rumi. You can have different rooms. So for me, I've got living room, guest bedroom, master bedroom, uh, primarily we were set up right now using uh, Rumi in our living room so just walking you around some of the different activities that I have set up I've got uh, watch TV watch Roku watch Apple TV watch Plex which is my home theater PC using my Mac mini I've also got different lighting scenes set up and I've also got cameras so I can actually look at my security camera, tap on it, and take a look at my backyard, which is nice. So now, if I want to set up a device, let's set up, um, I'm going to do Watch Roku. So now what this will do is make sure that everything's on, and it will switch the input to Roku. So now we're in Netflix, and now what's nice about this is you have all these different channels, so, you know, I can switch over to Epix, and it'll switch over to Epix, which is one of the advantages to this as opposed to using, say, like a, a Harmony remote, which is what we typically have. Um, as you can see here, you've got all your controls. Now, if I want to switch over to Apple TV, this does all the input changing. So if you see at the top here, this is where all the inputs and all your IR commands start going out and there you have your Apple TV remote. So it's very responsive, works well, and if you want to watch TV, it'll do all the switching, and it brings up an actual remote, like a TiVo remote, which is nice. So you can see all my programs. This specific device is controlled directly, so it's really, really fast. So let me put on 835. Actually, it's, let me do live TV.
So you can see the channel changing is, uh, is, is pretty quick on this. Now, if I want to, I can also change my lights from here. So let's do casual lighting. Let's see if you can see that. So I'm not sure if you can see that on the video, but the lights came on. Um, I've got a couple lamps and a couple lights here set up using a Vera light, which is a home automation system, which runs about $170 plus, you know, light switches. So we have a whole review on everything iCafe on, on how to set that up as well. Now, um, I showed you how you can switch to all these devices. One of the things that's nice is at the end of the night when you uh, turn your system off, it'll shut everything off. So it'll shut your TV off, it'll shut uh, the lights down, the whole thing. So I'm just gonna show you how to watch one thing. I'm gonna show you Plex. Plex is actually really good on the Rumi because what it does is I've got the Rumi agent set up. What that does is there's a problem with Plex or it's not necessarily Plex but the Mac Mini where it'll go to sleep. And what this does, it actually wakes it up. It sends a command to the computer to wake up, do a mouse movement, and really works nice. And so now I have access to all of my movies right within Plex. I've got so that's just been a, a quick overview and then I'm gonna do system off and as, as you note, all the lights go out, the TV goes out, all of my components downstairs get turned off. So um, this is the Rumi remote. I've got a full write-up on everything iCafe. Check it out. Thanks.